Hello and welcome. I'm Elka Clark. And I am Jen Clark and we are live from Costa Rica. Yesterday we didn't do a live video because we were just so busy with so many activities that we were doing. Um, but today, this morning, we have a couple minutes to chat with you before we go into class, huh? Yes, and we are here on a transformational retreat and um, it's a perfect place in order to be able to do that. You can hear the birds, um, it's just a beautiful resort, you can hear, see the waves behind us crashing. <laughs> Some people have tried surfing this morning, it's been awesome. Um, and also just the classes themselves are what we're going to talk about right now in terms of helping you transform without having to come all the way to Costa Rica in order to do it. We are learning so much and realizing that there's always room for improvement as well as just being kind to yourself and making sure you understand that the only way you go are going to improve is if you don't beat yourself up and um, about things that you haven't done yet, you know what I mean? And we, we just really want that message to come across because sometimes we, we, we're always positive and we're trying to give people you know the things to do but a lot of people get stuck and they go I want to do that but all this is stuck with me and I can't help myself to get moving <laughs> forward mm -hmm. but today's um, main point is that the actions that you have done in the past are going to affect your future success or even your actions today well and so that's where I'm getting to yes so your actions today if you change your actions today that's the beginning of you changing your future otherwise this if you continue to do the same actions that you did yesterday and the day before to get where you're going and you haven't gotten there yet that means that you are doing the wrong actions in order to achieve your goals and you know some of you are looking for really big changes in your life and changes changes in your goals uh, compared to where you are now so that in itself means that you will have to make some very drastic changes to how you can uh, work on yourself and your business and mm -hmm. and it, like it's it's an all-encompassing thing and that's why this is so fun to bring you all this information from Costa Rica because it's not just all about how to do the making the money it's also about yourself and what you do for yourself in order to create that um, sort of sense of feeling like it's all the positive mindset but it's even more than a it's the self-belief that you can do this and that you want that you know your goals that you have you don't beat yourself up for them that you haven't achieved them yet or anything it's just like you need to have this mindset that allows you to say it's going to happen it just hasn't happened yet because I predicted it too early or you know whatever you want to say for yourself but not say that oh I wanted this to happen I've really thought hard about it but it hasn't happened yet so it's never gonna happen yeah not and I wanted to say that you know you can have a positive outlook on it and um, or you can play the victim and you can say, yeah. you know, um, it's not working for me. Why isn't it working? I'm supposed to be successful. I'm not making any money. You can take it on that. You can look at it from that point of view or you can look at it from, okay, I am not doing the right things. And when you said that maybe you're doing the wrong things, it's not that you're doing the wrong thing for your business. It's just that, or like we have this misconception of wrong being like wrong. You're doing it wrong. It's not that. It's wrong for the way that you function properly. So if you are doing something which you think is working but it's actually not helping you, you're doing the wrong thing. But it's not that you're doing a bad thing for your business, it's just that you're not doing the right thing. Yeah. And you know, we learned a lot about this where um, you have to understand your traits and your qualities that help you succeed because if you are trying to push forward and do something that you're actually really not the greatest at, you're not going to succeed and you're going to fail, not because you're bad at it, just because it's not your strong suit. And so you need to look at yourself and realize what you can do for your business that will have a positive outcome and uh, a successful outcome and to get you towards your goals in the future because um, we, t we spoke about a lot of things but I will relate it back to me. You know, I have a to-do list of 10, 15 things to do and 
each day there's always about five that I never get to and it's not because I don't want to do them it's just because I find the other things more beneficial to me in my business or I enjoy doing them much more and so the but those five things keep on reoccurring so they're on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and they keep on bumping over to the next day and we learned yesterday that you yeah. have to realize that if those five things never get done then it's not that you're in, incapable of doing it it's just that you should be focusing your work on other things and sort of realize that those things aren't that important to what you're doing. Or if you realize they are important and you just have to say to yourself, look it, I just cannot do those. Those are not me. Yeah. And because of that, you find a way to get those done that don't involve you, except for you delegating that information or that task to someone else, like doing your taxes, for example, right? Um, if you were really great at doing your taxes, you'd be an accountant, but you're not. And so don't waste your time on something that you can't do or keep procrastinating about mm -hmm. to get it done because you know you have to do it for a particular thing to be successful. And so that's what Jen's saying, like don't, you know, we all, we are taught to basically say that if we keep moving those things forward, we're bad and that we can't do it and yeah. that, you know, we're not successful. Or we're being lazy. Lazy or something, but we're going to say that procrastination is your friend because it tells you what you're really not very good at or don't really want to do. Now, if you don't want to do anything <laughs> and you just hope your business is going to succeed, then that's a different story. But, you know, most of us are in a position where we are trying our super hardest to get everything done and uh, we can't, right? Yeah. And also our, our personality uh, doesn't allow us to do that. So we just aren't good at everything, but we are good at deciding what we're good at and what we're not good at by just how things happen. Like you move your, that task over and over again to the next day, then you know for a fact that that has to be done and therefore you need to find a way to get it done other than you doing it yourself. It can be, uh, you know, having a uh, paying someone f to do it. It could be for, uh, you know, you barter with a friend of yours or something. They do your thing that they, they love to do and you do their thing that they hate to do and you love it. That kind of thing. It doesn't have to always involve paying someone. Um, and then all of a sudden there's this breath of fresh air and the, like the weight goes off your shoulders to say, okay, you know what? I knew this was so important to do, but I couldn't do it myself. I just couldn't get it done, even though I had every single desire and ounce of energy to try and do it. And it was exhausting you and you realize that, oh my gosh, now it's lifted off my shoulders, but I know it's done, so I feel good, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that was a big thing learning for me because I'm one that does everything myself. But well, And a lot of us are people who do everything by ourselves because when we're working on Zazzle, you have to be your own boss, you have to be your own manager, you have to be your own web designer, you have to, you know, you have a whole range of uh, responsibilities that you have to start, you know, you have to be responsible for because if not, then your business isn't going to go anywhere. So at the beginning, you have to try, we're not saying don't do things, but what you do is you try and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you make sure that you if you need to get it done get someone else to do it because you're wasting your time trying to attempt to do those things and you're probably going to energy and your energy and you're probably not going to do them very well because a you don't like it or b you're not good at it and you're taking that time and energy and putting it into something that could be used yeah. to make yourself be successful using your qualities and your you know the traits that you have that will help you become a better person or a better business person or become successful and make more money um, and I think for me that really opened up my eyes as well because um, I didn't realize how much time I was wasting mm -hmm. and it's not that I'm just sitting there twiddling my thumbs it's things that I'm doing that I'm not good at and I'm struggling to work at and so I'm taking much more time to learn or to do it or to implement it than if I would be doing something that I'm good at or that I like and uh, you know we all think no you know we have to do this we we, ha we can't you know we're we're trained to we're do, we, we almost like have this like social stigma that if you you know you're successful you should be able to do all this to get it done and it's like a like I don't know like you know suffering to make six to be successful and actually it's the wrong way to think it's yeah. not that you are suffering you're suffering because you're causing your own suffering by not allowing options for yourself to 
focus on only the things that you're good at and get anyone else to do all the things that you're bad at. You still oversee it and you make sure it gets done, but you definitely find a way to help yourself be much more productive and shine in what you actually can be really good at. And, and that is part of you know what actions you're doing now that are stopping you from being successful in the future because obviously right now we are doing all of that stuff and we realize oh but we could actually you know if it's related to um, all of our online businesses we could basically get a, a web designer to um, to do some of the graphics right even though we're good at graphics we should say okay we're gonna give this logo design to someone else so all of a sudden our time gets freed up we can do more work on Zazzle and it just makes so much sense but in the, the whole headset the, the head space that we were in made us think oh well, we have to do it ourselves right not headset but <laughs> headspace yeah no it's true it's like, true like for example Jen and I a, a proper example our, our site is now secure and uh, we we're very good we've developed websites and and everything like that but we started realizing that the security certificate was so difficult for our particular website not some of the ones that are just basic but for our course website so I decided to hire someone and this is something that I've never done before but boy it just took a weight off my shoulders and made me realize that they're gonna do a good job and I'm I can then do something else because it was taking us hours and hours and I was thinking this is crazy yeah um, maybe the examples aren't as obvious but I knew that I had to get my website secure and and I was just I could do it but it would take me a long time so then it, maybe in the future when you're looking at your situation you realize okay I have to get something done but I'm really going to take a ton of time to learn it figure it out maybe there's a way to get this done cheaply and easily and professionally so that then you can make sure that it gets done for you and you aren't so stressed and take so much time of your valuable time that you should be using towards building your business that actually um, helps your business grow yeah no definitely yeah and that was a big eye-opener I mean you don't actually think about that when you you know start your business and you say okay I need to do everything by myself I don't want to spend too much money you know uh, I'm gonna save money by doing it myself and in the end yes if you outsource somebody to help you to work on things maybe it will cost you X amount of dollars but it'll save you X amount of hours in your own time that you can be using to better your business in ways that you can do it yourself yeah so that's a biggie just to, to understand oops there's a bit of construction going on. Um, but the, the next thing is, is again, whatever actions you're taking today mm -hmm. um, and in the past are truly the result, what, like, it, um, let me rephrase that. Whatever you did in the past and what we're trying to do today, if it's similar to what you did in the past, will get you exactly the same results tomorrow mm -hmm. that you have today. And I think that's a huge uh, thing because you go, well, wait a minute, no, 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 no. I'm like, I'm working really hard. I'm making more products. I'm, I'm doing everything you said in my cor in your course. Why is it that um, you think I'm going to have the same result tomorrow? And what it is is, it's a bit more than me just telling you that you have to do X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. like post products, have the right, the right titles and tags. It is also so much tied to your beliefs and to your self, um, uh, how you treat yourself, yeah. right? Because first of all, you can, if you don't believe that you can expand your universe and be successful in a greater scope, then you will never, even if you do some of the things that I tell you to, you won't, you won't be successful. That's why we spend so much time on mindset in the first part of our 30-day profit plan and if you're in that course you'll understand if you're not in that course be sure to check that out and see if that's something that will help you because uh, it is so important and that's why we're doing all this series on transformation and even now we are successful and like I get goosebumps just telling you all this stuff because I didn't even know that so I'm gonna I'm so excited because now what I'm gonna do is expand my uh, space in terms of what I think is possible mm -hmm. and I'm gonna work towards it so now I've just completely changed how I think about things and I'm going to make actions that correlate with that from now on which will allow me to move into a bigger successful space than I already am in mm -hmm. which is really cool because um, yeah like I mean, we're already really blessed to be able to be so successful but there's room to grow 
um, and it's it's just amazing. So now, what do you think about that? No, definitely. I mean, it, we not that we're tooting our own horns, but we've come a long way in the past year. We've but just pushing and struggling, really, yeah. in a way, because I, we just kind of know what we're doing and we're doing it the same way. Yeah. Right? What I wanted to say is, yeah, exactly that. We we've, we've accomplished a lot, but the thing is, is that I think we could have accomplished a lot more if we realized these lessons that we're learning uh, in you know yesterday and I'm sure this entire week coming up where you have to you know make sure that you're in a good spot this is something that you need to do and you need to understand who you are and what you're capable of and um, exploit those those characteristics of yourself and you know it's not just about you it's about your whole world and the way that you react with everybody the way that your actions have consequences the way that um, you know your as you said your actions today you know whether you think it is something insignificant or whether you think it's a huge thing that you've accomplished those things no matter what you do today will affect the future uh, whether it be big or small and so you really have to be very aware and conscious of that that you always want to make the right actions and the right decisions for your business so that you can become successful in the future and as, as we mentioned you know <clears throat> if you don't do the right actions or think about it then you are wasting your time so to speak because you could be doing something much better and bigger for your business yeah and I'll give you an example okay so for me it was really interesting because I was envisioning my success to a certain level and I wasn't giving myself permission to be even more successful because there were a lot of things that are happening in my like my family my background my training from my parents that my attitude towards money that I had adopted from my parents all these things are there in the background as well and including things like um, surrounding yourself with people that can say that you can do it or people that are always telling you no you can't uh, all of these things it's not just what you're actually doing to move your business forward it's also the things that you do in your life that help you uh, mm -hmm. get to that stage where you can say it's going to be possible and that positive energy is actually going to then just make your a business work even like with even less work which is crazy but you have to be in the right headspace you have to have this right surroundings the right um, people that are always sort of giving you messages saying you can do it you're amazing you can do it mm -hmm. uh, rather than oh well, well I don't believe that this Zazzle works maybe it's you know how can you put all your efforts into that right um, but if you have people like that that are telling you you can't be successful it's not gonna work get a day job then you have to move away from those people because even though you go oh, I'm not listening to them boy oh boy your subconscious certainly listens to them uh, in my case especially and I'm always fighting that and you might be as well in terms of just going well you're still even though you say I won't let others affect me it does happen and so you actually need to move yourself into an environment and into situations where you're co constantly being reinforced with positive energy and and that you can do it and that you have someone that's rooting for you and expecting you to do successful things and that's a rather, another really key thing right um, and so all of these things together help bring you to that next level and those are as much of an action to take as well as the um, physical things of putting stuff on your store and and creating uh, your brand and all of those things those are important but the most important thing is really the mindset and your personal environment to allow you to achieve something mm -hmm. um, you know Henry Ford always wanted like a, a, a V8 engine everyone said it couldn't be done so he just kept looking for someone who could finally do it and he never gave up and you know it's the same with all these famous people now that are doing amazing things look at the iPhone right no one said that they would ever want an iPhone like they didn't agree that the iPhone would be good um, that it, like no one understood but it, Steve Jobs kept going and kept going because he knew something was going to happen if he just got the right people to help him out he personally like kept asking all his developers do this do this to this and so many went by the wayside but now we're talking on an iPhone and the entire world is full of Macs and whatnot right mm -hmm. and iPads and iPods and uh, it, so 
not that we are Steve Jobs, but we have to think the same way because otherwise, how are we going to know what our actual potential is? Mm -hmm. And that's what I realized is I kept thinking, well, I'm just okay if I do this, right? I'm happy with this level. Uh, so I didn't give myself permission to see, well, how far could I actually go? And I thought that was really eye-opening yesterday. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, how are we doing for time? I think we need to head out. We've we have got to class. go to our session. <laughs> We've got class now, but um, but yeah, hopefully you you understand that. I know that sometimes it's a little bit of a hard concept to understand. You have to maybe watch this video again and, and replay it and actually try and apply the information that we've just given you to your own situation. Everybody's situation is different. So yes. uh, take the information and understand what we're trying to say. And we're not telling you that you're doing things wrong or that you're not successful because of your actions now we're saying that you have to make sure that you're doing the right things that you feel right with mm -hmm. and that you know fit with your body your heart your mind and your soul that you're super passionate about and you know positive energy brings positive results yes. and um, so yeah as we said your actions today will determine your success in the future so Yes, and I think that um, hopefully, as Jen said, I think you have to watch this a couple of times because you, first, your instinct will be to go, what is Elka and Jen, what are they talking about? This is wrong, like I'm already doing everything, I'm successful, I'm getting results. But what we're saying is step back from that and realize that this is the beginning of your journey and that you have much more potential than you actually give yourself credit for. And that was my biggest takeaway. Uh, and, and it means that we are all positive energy, positive spirits, and we definitely have the ability to reach whatever potential we want to reach personally like Jen said mm -hmm. just explore and see what you feel is possible for you but if you're feeling stressed and down about the fact that you're not getting to where you want to be then here are some things that you can do and the first is to change your actions just do only the things that you're really good at and find someone else to help you do the things you're not so great at mm -hmm. so that you move all of your positive energy and, and abilities to those really great things so they can really shine and make you uh, successful. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is, is a really big thing because everyone in our lives affect us and that you you know the last the, 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 some people say that the six or five or ten most closest people that you interact with on a daily basis influence your thinking mm -hmm. so if most of those people are negative and not really in a position to help you move towards your goal then you have to at least find additional people that fill that number so that you can feel like you're in an environment where you're you're capable of doing what you want to do and uh, sure some people are your family members and so on and they just you can't get rid of them obviously and you don't want to but uh, you can't look towards those people as your source of support and help and so find mentors and um, mm -hmm. online, you know, watch lots of motivational videos, whatever. You don't even need to come to one of these retreats like this just to help you get into a better headspace so you believe in yourself. And that is so significant. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that was, that's amazing. I and mean, we've given you uh, a couple minutes here of all of the stuff that we've learned all pushed into one, but <laughs> hopefully it wasn't cute, too confusing. But honestly, we just feel so passionate about this and we want you to feel the same way too because um, as we said, you know, on Zazzle, you think that you just need to post products and keep with your routine and then keep going and keep going and that's how you'll be successful. But really, you have to step back and look at how, you know, not even like as a physical being, you have to step back and look at yourself and realize what situation you're in and you have to sort of reflect on what you're doing and make the right decisions um, and be with the right people and have the right influences to make positive actions for your business yeah mm -hmm. so with that we will leave you for today I'm Elka Clark and I'm Jen Clark and we teach and mentor people how to make money online using their creativity and uh, right now we're talking mainly about Zazzle but there's more to come yes <laughs> And we really hope that you enjoyed this session and we will talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye.